And there we go, we're live, Nick. Good morning, everybody. It's lovely to see you all here today. It is digitally active. As you can see behind us, look at this. We've got um, the circus. Yeah, the, the circus, circus today. Going on this week. I'm, I'm going the wrong way. That's probably better. You can see the circus there. How are you, Mark, today? I am good. I've got a little bit of the sniffles, but apart from that, I'm all good. Good, good. Excellent stuff. Um, well, it's brilliant. Um, we've got another day of digitally active. It's going to be fantastic. We're going to be doing games. We're going to be doing warm-ups. We're going to do the main activity with all the different dance dance moves to circus today. We have some um, games done by... We who do. Some? So we have another um, a math scene themed game today. Okay. Oh, math scene. We'll be doing oh, some sums later. See if we can get the highest score last time. Some maths games. That'll be good. Um, uh, and we have the digitally active as well. We've been promising you getting some st Heath and staff members on. So, so what, what I've done is we're going to do for a few weeks, we're going to do one member and one staff member. So this week we have Cameron and Spiff. Spiff today. So, so it's not Cameron really a versus, Spiff. but you can guess who you think done better if you want. Mm, I'm going Cameron. I'm going Cameron. Well, Cameron is a gamer. Is he? Yeah. yeah. I can imagine he's a gamer. I can imagine he's a gamer. So, yeah, we'll, it'll be interesting to see how they get on. And I'm looking forward to seeing that leaderboard at the end as well. Well, we're not Spiff's going to be top of the leaderboard because he's the only staff member on the staff member list. Oh, on the staff. Oh, so it's a separate list? Yeah, I thought it was a bit unfair to put them against yeah. each other. We can compare scores. Right. But, um, right, good. Currently, it's a separate list. Oh, interesting, interesting. So the idea was, I think at the beginning we said we'd do staff and maybe special people, like people that come to Ethan's, we'll maybe get them on. And that could be on one list and then members on another list. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Right, well, so we get started. So I'm just going to go through. So. Are you, are you, what? So I'm just going to go through one or two little things before we start. So I can see that uh, Mark's got his drink there. I've got his drink. I've got, I've got my drink the down there. I've just had a sip of water just a minute ago. Um, so it's good to have some water before you do any exercises. That's a, a quite a good thing to do. Keeps your body hydrated, which means it keeps it working. You can, you can cool down a lot quicker. Your body just works better with water in it. I think we're 80% water anyway. So yeah, it's always good to have water in the system. Remember, you need to have a space around you. So we've got two steps to the left, two steps to the right. If you can do that, you've got enough room to the left and the right. If you can move forwards and backwards, that would be better as well. It's probably more vital to move side to side than it is forwards and backwards. So if you've got this space this way, you're kind of sorted, really. You've got enough space. If you can put your hands above your head without knocking into anything, that's brilliant. If you have got anything in the way, just push those if, uh, chairs out the way. If you've got any mats or anything, just roll them up. If you've got any trailing wires, just unplug it, put it away just for the time that you're doing your exercises. Then you can put it back when you've finished. So remember, you don't have to do any of the exercises if you're, you're kind of your own bosses. If you don't want to do any of the exercises, that is absolutely fine. If you want to do the arm exercises and not the leg exercises, that's fine. If you want to do the leg exercises and not the arm exercises, that's fine. If you're feeling a little bit ill or you're feeling a bit, you've got stress in your body and your muscles and you're not feeling quite up to it today, maybe just have a break today. You can do it on another time when uh, it's all on here to watch at any time. You don't have to do it live. You can yeah. watch it in a, in a couple of days. If you're feeling really bad, you can go to the doctors, see what the doctor has to say. If they say do the exercises, that's fine. If they say don't do them, just don't do the exercises for a week. Come back and join us next week. That's absolutely fine. Remember, you're just doing this at your own risk. So that's what I'm saying, really. Anyway, shall we get going, Mark? I think so. So I will see everyone in a little bit. Excellent stuff. And Brilliant. I'll send you over to a th circus-themed warm-up. Brilliant stuff. So, oh, look at this. Oh, so... I'm just going to have a quick look before I go. So we've got jugglers, we've got an elephant on a ball, and we've got a strong man, and we've got a juggler. Juggling bananas! I should have known bananas were in there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to get marching. Getting, moving our feet is always good to start off with. It kind of centres you and gets you into position, and 
Walking is always good. It clears the mind as well. So we're just going to be we're going to be marching along. To, it's like the uh, merry-go-round, isn't it? The merry-go-round music. I really like it. So we're marching, swinging those arms side to side, just to start off with. Excellent stuff. Well done. Okay then. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to move that neck. So we're going to go to the side. To the other and to the other side. So we're going to the left and to the right with the neck. And this is a good one. This is a good one here. So what we do is we tip our head to the side a little bit and put your arm out. So we're not tipping it very far, just slightly out, and then back to the middle and lower your arm. Exactly the same with the other side. Putting the arm out. Just stretching that little bit, but not far, not far out to the side, just loosely. Excellent, and back down. Well done, give yourself a shake out. Now it's really important to be able to breathe as well. It's really important to be able to breathe, so we're just going to do some breaths. So breathing in, through the nose, out through the mouth, breathing in, and out. Because if you're not breathing, it's going to be very difficult to do the exercises. Excellent stuff. Okay, I'm going to go back to my. It makes me want to march. This music it makes me want to march. So the next thing we're going to do, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our hands out to the side, hands out to the side, and we're going to put them in as if we're hugging a tree, or what could it be in the circus? Or you could be hugging. Um, a pole or something that's a supporting pole for the circus. I'm going to march as well. You can just do it stand still if you like. It's up to you. Now we can go up and down as well. So you've still got that um, kind of tree stem in your hand, but we're going up and down. So kind of circle your hands, going up and down, and we're going to give ourselves a shake. Excellent, nice. Well done. Okay, I want to do a sway, so I want to do some swaying. I'm swaying. I wasn't going to plan to do this, but I want to do some swaying today. So we're kind of moving that core a little bit, side to side with the hands. Ooh, nice. Excellent. Well done. Okay then, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put one hand across the body and across and we're going to do some fireworks. It was fireworks at the weekend. Fireworks come with the circus as well. So I'm doing some fireworks. Excellent stuff. And we're going to cross the hand across the body and over. And we're going to uh, move those fingers in and out. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant. Okay, well done, guys. Keep going. You're doing excellently well. Okay, we're going to do those shoulders now. So we're going to go up to the back and down. Cool, that elephant's moving very, very quickly. And the strong man looks like he's got some amazingly heavy weights there as well. They all look very active, in fact. Do you think people at the uh, circus, do you think they're fit? Or do you think... They're not very fit. I would say, in the main, they would be quite fit. If you're an acrobat or a strong man, you're gonna to have to do some exercises. If you're running around like a clown, juggling, I think you're gonna to have to be able to do some exercises. Well done. Okay then, so, we're gonna do some movements. We're gonna do some movement with the legs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our hands at uh, hip height. We're going up with the legs, up with the legs. Just if you want to go a bit lower or just the marching, that is absolutely fine. But this one's a bit harder. You're kind of getting your legs up towards your hips, knocking on those hands, coming down one at a time. You're doing well. Great stuff. Okay then, so we're just going to go side to side. So we're going to do two steps to one side, two steps to the other side. This is a good one to do it's again it's quite a natural movement in you don't often go side so I suppose if you're swerving around somebody you would go side to side normally we're moving forwards and backwards but it's good to use those muscles excellent well we will go forwards and backwards so we go forwards and backwards forwards and backwards forwards and backwards lovely good stuff 
Okay, we're doing some more stretchy stuff now. So we're gonna stretch up, wiggle those fingers. Well done. Excellent, and we're gonna go down to the knees. Okie dokie, and we're gonna stretch up again. Down to the knees. Okay, this time, if you can, and only if you can, go down to your feet. Okay, going down to the feet. Oh, that's a good stretch. Going up, and last one. Down. Okay, this time we're just going to hold there and we're going to look up for a minute. And up we go. Okay, give yourself a stretch. Okay, hands on the hips. This is amazing music. Okay, so hands on the hips. Never heard this one before. And we're going to go across. So we're kind of um, just bending. We should feel a nice stretch there across. Um, the body there and we're holding and that's the key thing to hold it nice and um, still excellent same with the other hand cross and I'm going to count to three one two three okay we're going to do another set of those one two three excellent and the last one one two three good okay Okay, so I'm just going to do a little bit of jogging on the spot. If you can't jog, again, that's okay. Just walk, that's okay, that's fine. Just getting your legs moving, your body moving, because even though I'm just using the legs, you can see my body moving as well. Excellent stuff, well done. Breathing in, and breathing out. Lovely, well done. Okay, so we're going to stretch out and we're going to give ourselves a hug. Stretch out, give ourselves a hug. Nice. Well done. Doing well, guys. Love this. Oh, so the warm ups are generally quite similar because you do need to warm up your body. Um, and there is set ways of doing that. So it is good to do the warm up to warm your body up and then when we do the the main exercises you can be a bit more do more things so that's good i love that chimp at the back with a big c on his on his costume okay we're just walking walking excellent stuff okay so hands on the hips hands on the hips and we're turning from side to side if you've got somebody at the side you can say hello hello I haven't got anybody to the side, so I'm just saying hello to the wall. But if there is somebody next to you, you can go hello to whoever it is. Excellent stuff. Doing well, guys. So it's lovely to see you all. So I hope that we've got everybody in. I hope uh, it's nice to see Paul, if Paul's there. Um, Anthony, uh, Alan. Uh, we had uh, Mr. Gates last week. That was good to see. Sometimes we get Abby. Sometimes we get various other people, various bubbles joining us. Um, sometimes we get uh, people from home, like uh, Daniel Edgar sometimes joins us. So it's always good to have you. So whoever's there, it's good to see you. Excellent stuff. Okay, so I'm going to put one foot in front of the other and I'm just going to punch out. Okay, just moving those hands in front. Well done. Okay, and then we're going to go up. One side and then the other side. Excellent stuff. Have to get a bigger t-shirt or lose a bit of weight. Maybe I'll lose some weight, eh? There we go. And down. So we're going to punch down. Lovely, and out to the side. Lovely, well done. Doing well. And back up. Good stuff. And out to the front. Good stuff. Well done. Okay then. So we're going to do some more bending. Some more bending. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to put our hands across our chest. Our hands across our chest. And we're going to use the hips for this one. So it's called a hinge hip. And we're just bending at the hips. Keep our back nice and straight. And our legs nice and straight. So we're kind of bending down. Just bending down here. Okay. Good mornings, this one's called. Good morning at the circus. What do they do at the circus? It's normally in the evening, isn't it? 
surface, you're kind of getting dark, but you're supposed to get a matinee performance, which means an afternoon performance. So, yeah, I haven't been to the circus for ages and ages, but I remember going as a little, a little boy and I was all, always amazed by all the animals, the, um, the clowns, the lions, if they did, I don't think they had lions, the prancing ponies, all sorts of stuff. Okay, back to marching. Okay, so we're just going to do some robots, so we're going up and down, up and down, it's like you're lifting a box up to the top, or from up the top to the bottom. There we go, so it's kind of a one level at the top, one level at the bottom, and you're being the robot. And I'm doing the march as well, which is always good, give yourself a shake. Good stuff. Okay, so I'm going to do some snow angels now. What's a snow angel, he asked me. Okay, so we're going out the side and in. So it's kind of like you're drawing yourself a Kathleen wheel or a massive cannonball that you might get at the circus. So it's a nice big circle and there you go. Excellent stuff. You're doing well, guys. Okay, so we're going to do some squats now. So that's using the back of the legs, back of the legs. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to put our hands out and we're going out. So basically you've got your back nice and straight, we're bending at the knees and we're coming up. You can't do this one, that's absolutely fine. Find it tricky to do, you don't have to do this one, but I think this is quite a good one to do. Test those muscles a bit. Excellent, well done. Okay, and what we're going to do now is I'm going to have my legs shoulder width apart, I'm going to turn out to the side, and we're going to do a squat there. We're going to do a squat. So you've got a nice stretch in the top of the legs there. Brilliant. And the same move to the side. Good stuff. We're nearly at the end of the warm up. I could go forever. No, I couldn't. Anyway, here we go. You're doing very well, guys. We're just going to do a stretch. Oh, and last one on the other side. You can't do this one, it's okay. Okay, so just give yourself a shake. You turn those shoulders back, round and round. So we're going up, back and round, just to warm ourselves up. And there we go, finished. Well done with the warm up, excellent stuff. Nice How's to see you back, Mark. Good to be back. Good Did stuff. you enjoy all the, the kind of the fairground music there? I thought it was amazing. It's it's slightly difficult to dance to, but I do really yeah, enjoy I, it. It's actually a lot faster than it sounds. Yeah, it was, but it's quite relaxing as well, and that's <coughs> what it should be for the warm up. Yeah. So I think, um, in a way, it's a, it's a good it's good music to start off with. What do you it, think, it, it did home speed guys? Up, it did speed up slightly towards the end, so yeah, maybe I should have slowed it down a bit. Have we got any comments, Mark? We have. We've got Anthony commenting. All today. right. Okay. So Anthony's at home, following along the exercises. Right. And he's asking if we could tell him about Wednesday night. Oh, I think he must be in the gaming club on oh, Wednesday. Go. Oh, come to the gaming group, Anthony. It's great. Yeah. We've ha we had a really good time. We had pizza. We did. For pepperoni. a start, which is free for you. The first session is free <coughs> for you to go to. We do all sorts of games. So, I mean, you can do... Yeah, well, last week we played, what did we say? Drafts. Yep. Uno. Yep. Uh, race to base, which is frustration. Yeah. Uh, we played card games. Yeah. Oh, so we have all sorts of games, all sorts of abilities. So if you want to play hard games like chess, that's fine. Drafts, that's fine. But if you want easy games as well, like card games, that's great. Also, next time, I think I'm going to bring some tea bags and some coffee. Yeah, um, coffee. And, and then we can have some teas and coffees as well, because that would be nice yeah. to have with with the games and it's a quite a nice relaxing session yeah. we had andrew wimbledon last week yeah good familiar face from a few years ago um which i haven't seen for about seven or eight years and he really enjoyed it he absolutely yeah. loved it it was lovely to have him out so if you'd like to come anthony please do it's between six and eight on a wednesday on the first and third weeks yeah so it's not on month. this week but it'll be on next week. 16th i think it is 16th of so we did have a couple of November. people turn up and because it's not very well signed in the building people didn't find their way in so this week we're going to make some signs up 
and we'll maybe do a little map on a flyer as well for oh, people to find yeah i think that that's what we need to do so please come and join us so the first session is three after that is three pounds it'll be a great time you'll either see me and mark or and dean or it'll be a combination of, of those three anyway so um yeah really looking forward to the next one um please come please come mm. it'll be we're welcoming you with open arms at the uh What's it called? Uh, Methodist Church on Winton yeah. Road. So please come. Okay. Was there anything else? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't think so. Was that it? Okay. Okay. So we're over to the warm up now. Okay. Okay. We've done the warm up, so we're going to do the main exercises. Yeah. Sorry, we've done the warm up. Now. So we're yeah. on to the the main exercise in Disco Dancey section. Excellent. So I will see you again in a little bit. Okay. Okay. And um, have some fun. Bye for now. See ya. Oh. Who have we got now? Okay, we've got we've got the elephant, but we've got a crazy looking um, um, joker kind of um, clown, and then we've got loads of people in the background. Okay, so what we're going to start off with? We're going to start off with just going to do some walking to start off with. Okay, do, and then we're going to start the first dance move in one minute. So our first dance move today is the strong man. So we're going up and down with the hands. Lovely. Up and down with the hands, strong man. Nice. Good stuff. Going up and down. Now, if you want to change it, you can tap on your shoulders with your hands instead. You can do this one, or you can do this one. Excellent. Okay, with a strong man also, it's lifting that heavy bar. Oh, he's lifting. Look at the picture he's got there. He's lifting. What are you lifting? Hundreds of pounds. Four. Oh, above your head. We're not lifting that much. That's okay. Just going up and down. Well done. Give yourself a shake out. Good. Doing well. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Okay, so we've done the strong man, done the strong man. Are you ready for the next dance move? I'm ready for it. Okay then. So we're gonna do the cannonball. So you know somebody fires out a cannon. So we're just gonna draw that cannonball. Okay. So imagine there's a big cannon, and this could be the hole you have to get into in the cannon. And then it fires you out into the out into the sky. I don't know how they survive. They've always got a crash helmet on. They've always got to be a bit, um, a bit too lally to do it, I think. Anyway, there it is. It's, it's uh, the cannonball. Excellent stuff. Nice. Okay, just do smaller balls. And shining the ball. Excellent. Shining that ball ready for it to take a big leap into the air and land somewhere. Anyway, excellent, good. Okay, well done. Okay, are you ready for the next dance move? I am. Shaking those hands, breathing in. Breathing out. Okay, we're gonna do the prancing pony. Okay, sometimes you get ponies with feathers in their hair, so we're gonna do a prancing pony. Okay, now if you wanna shake your hands as well as if you're on the horse, it's up to you, prancing pony. Doing well, leg up, well done. If you can't do this one, walking's fine. You can still do the hand movements, that's great. Well done. Prancing pony. Oh. Okay. Just tapping the pony. Make it go a little bit faster. Excellent stuff. Well done. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Okay, are you ready for the next dance move? Because I am. Okay, so we've got some clowns. 
I'm going to do some juggling. Up and down. And side to side. Dancing and juggling. Going up and down. And side to side. Nice. Up and down. And side to side. Well done, guys. It's lovely to see you all doing the exercises. Come on, you're doing really well. You're doing fantastically well. Brilliantly well. Okay. So we've done the juggler. We've done the strong man. We've done the prancing horses. What's next? Well, we have the presenter. So we're going to present. Kind of presents the whole thing. Normally, it's kind of a ringmaster. Or am I out of, totally out of, maybe I'm talking about circuses that happened 30 years ago. Okay, so he's presenting with maybe the microphone. Here we are, welcome to the circus. Nice. Good stuff, well done. Excellent, welcome to the circus. Brilliant. Okay, so side sides. Okay, side to side's good. So this could be the acrobat, uh, 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 let's say it properly, the acrobat getting ready, doing his exercises to do his big swing. Okay. Psyching himself up to do that massive swing within the tent. Okay, so we're gonna do some acrobats. Okay, so you ready? Swing and down. Swing and down. Swing and down. High in the air. Loop the loop. Well done. Right. Wow. Swinging and down. Swinging and down. Swinging and down. Swinging and down. Well done. What a performance from the acrobat. Great stuff. Okay, so underneath the acrobat, we have a little pool of water with the seal going clap. So we're doing some clapping seals. And side to side. Well done. Clapping seals. Clapping for their fish supper. Nice. Doing well, guys. Keep going. Comment if you can. I know it's difficult to comment while you're doing the exercises. Keep clapping. Side sides. Can't do side sides. Forwards and back. Excellent stuff. Okay. So we've had that seal. We've had the acrobat. We've had the strongman. What have we got? The lion tamer, of course. With his lions. So you ready to do some lions? So we're doing some lion claws. Out to the side, out to the side. The lions, these are wild lions. Nice. Out to the side, well done. Out to the side, well done. Okay, so these lions, they're quite agile lions. So, you're gonna bend at the knees and up. If you want to do some lions, they're kind of jumping up onto their podiums. Excellent stuff. So we're doing some squats. Keep that back straight. Nice, lions, well done. Okay, so the ringmaster. What does the ringmaster do? He does his hat. So we're gonna do alternate hats. Pulling his hat off and on. Welcome to the circus. Nice. 
and the crowd are waving. Waving. Waving and clapping. Waving, clapping. Waving and clapping. Well done. Good stuff. Liking this, it's nice. Good, okay, give yourself a shake. You're gonna roll back those shoulders, roll back those shoulders. And it's gonna roll our hips. As if you're doing the slowest hula hoop there ever was. Excellent, and the other way around. Do you think they do hula hoops? at the circus. I think they might do. Excellent. But this, my hula hoop wouldn't be going very fast, would it? We don't want to go too quick. Excellent. And round the other way. Good. Nice. Okay, so I'm putting one foot forwards, one foot forwards. And we're going to do some uppercuts. Maybe they've got some other strong men showing off their muscles. Maybe it's like a, I don't know, a bit of a cage fight or something, I don't know. Okay, we'll just go with uppercuts. Nice. And we're going to put the other half foot in front. Okay, and we're going to go crosses. Nice. Good stuff, well done. Excellent stuff. Okay, side to side, well done. So, two steps to one side, two steps to the other. Now, if you want to, you can put your hands up at the same time. I like to call these popcorns. Maybe that popcorn at the circus. Pop, pop, here we go. Well done. Nice. Okay, back to the middle, marching. Lovely, you're doing well guys, nearly finished. Only one and a half minutes to go, you've done really well so far. Done really well. Okay, so we're gonna roll those shoulders. Back we go. If you want to stop uh, walking, you can. Just do the shoulders, but I'm going to do both. Give yourself a hug, because it's cold in that circus. It can get cold on a frosty night. To give yourself a nice hug, keep yourself warm. Got that coat on. Oh, That's the good thing about exercise. It definitely warms you up in the cold days. So it's cold outside, but you feel really warm. Okay, good, well done. Okay, let's do the back straight as if we're on a fun fair ride. I see they've got a fun fair ride there. So we're just gonna go back. If you can touch your ear with your arm, great. If you can't, it doesn't matter. Definitely need to get a bigger t-shirt. Okay, lovely. And forwards, as if you're doing the crawl, front crawl in swimming. Oh, get that seal doing some swimming in its little pool. Entertaining the crowd. Well done. Okay, give yourself a shake. Good stuff. Breathing in. And out. And just up. And down. Good. Well done. Fantastic job today. Fantastic job. Did really well. Excellent. Oh, that was good, that. So there's the circus. I enjoyed that one. Yeah. It was good. So we've got um, Anthony commenting in again. He said he really wants to come on the Wednesday night to the game. Please come. Um, and then he's going to say, because you've done so well today, Nick, he's going to give you one of his biscuit biscuits next oh, time. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll, I'll save my biscuit for tea time for my uh, supper or something like that. So I don't eat too much. I'll save it and uh, cherish it another day. Yeah, so up next we have the game. So we tried this game out a couple of weeks ago. So this is a maths game. So you'll have 
a sum come up oh, and you'll have like four oh. answers to choose from. Oh. So I will keep a tally to how many scores have you to get. Start using my head. Oh, some maths. So this time I'll move us over to the game screen. Um, Alrighty, hey. Okay. So <laughs> Nice. Okay. So a different fairground this time. It's got a bit of a, a roller coaster going on. Yeah, here. more of a fair that one. And a few yeah, clowns walking in. about. <laughs> yeah, nice. So uh, I will give you a demonstration, some Nick. Okay. So we'll go for that one. So seven, seven plus four. Plus four. Mm. So seven. We've got seven and plus four. One, two, three, and then we need to do another one. So that would be ten, and another one is eleven. So we're going to point up there to the there eleven. You go. Correct. Excellent. Okay, so. Are you ready, guys? I'll count you from five and then the music will start. Okay, okay, dokie. I'm ready. Hope you are. Four, three, two, one. Okay, what have we got? Okay, so we've got this is a five times two. So it's not add, it's times. So it's five and we've got two, two lots of five. So it's five and five is. What do you reckon? Ten? Yeah, do you reckon? Ten? So we're going out to that side, so 10 please. Yeah. So 5 times 1. So we've only got one lot of 5. So we've got one lot of 5, but nothing else. So it's got to be 5. Excellent. 7 plus 4. I think we might have had this one already. Okay. So we've got 7 plus another 4. So we go 1, 2, 3, and then we need another 1. So it's 10 plus 1, it's 11. So there we go, 11. Excellent. Oh, this one's a big one. So we've got 10 times 7, okay? So one of the easiest ways to do this is when it's anything times 10, it's got a naught on the end, really, unless it's not a whole number. So you've got to put 7 in the front and the naught at the end. So that would be 70. 70, there you go, 10, 10, 10, 10, and 10, and 10, 7, 10, 4 plus 4 is right, so we've got 4 on one hand, and we've got 4 on the other hand, let's count them up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, we've got an 8 there, yes we have, that one please, yep, so we've got another add, so it's not a times, so that's an add, and that's a times, isn't it, so we've got an add one, so it's 14, 14, one, four, and plus four. So, um, we've got 14, and we have to add another four to it. So we've got 15, 16, 17, 18. So we're going to go 18 over there. Well done. All right, so they're trying to trick us now. we seven minus four rather than plus four. Okay, so we've got seven. So we'll put seven up, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? And we're taking four down. One, two, three, four. The answer would be, how many fingers I've got up? Yep, three. Over there. Oh, Woo! well done, Nick. There we so go. So, I counted eight you got there. Eight correct answers. Eight correct answers. Oh, well, so, that's well good. Done. That's good. Well, I hope you did as well at home. Yeah, I hope you played along. It's a game that you can play. Yep. Uh, Anthony, if you're playing along, tell us how many scores you got. Yeah, tell us how many you got. Right, so up next we have the um, VR challenge. So this week, as I said before, we have Cameron, who is quite new to Heathlands. He's been here for a couple of months, maybe. Yeah. I think he's doing the Wonders of Nature course today. And then we have Spiff, one of our long-standing staff members here. He's been here years, the same yeah. time as so me. So Spiff chose, chose to do his seated because he's got a bad leg. And as we said in the past, you can do the um, challenge seated or standing. Okay. It's a choice of your own. Okay. So um, we'll both see you in a bit. Come on, so Cameron. Come enjoy on. the VR challenge.
Fantastic. Well, I'll tell you what, so Spiff looked really like well, he was having a field day there on some of those. <laughs> he did. Uh, he really enjoyed it. Ah, uh, good. So, so did Cameron as well. So Cameron, he's, uh, he plays the PS5 at home, but he'd never done the virtual rally before. Right. It took him a little bit to get used to it, because it's a bit disorientating sometimes, but once yeah. he had, he, he was right in there. He was um, wants to do it again, he said. Fantastic. Well, maybe so, we will. And I'm we'll really go hoping to, um, we're going to get some um, some of the Beaumont crew to come up as well. Yes, and do um, they should have had all the emails out this week. This is the yep. first week they're receiving them. Yeah. So we'll give them to the end of the week and then we'll give them a text to yep. call. Come on, Beaumont, come and challenge us. So first up is the members board. So there we are. Uh -huh. So where's Cameron? That's so. He's second on the Fruit Ninja. Oh, that's really good. So Just good behind score. Oliver. Yeah. And then on the Synth Rider, he's... Bang in the centre. So 140,000, so in between everybody. That's pretty good. And on the Beat Saber, he's again, he's up near the top. So he's, he's at number five. He's like middle or above middle every single yeah, so one. So he's done really well. Average. Right, mm -hmm. so we'll get rid of that one. So where do you think Spiff's came on the board? Uh, well, I think he might be top, because I think he's a, <laughs> there's only one staff member, but that's we'll have a look. There he is, top of the board, but some good scores. Oh my word, that's going to be tough to beat. So, look, at all his scores are quite high. Mm. His, fruit, his beat saber one wasn't, but I think he was maybe getting a little bit tired towards maybe, the end. Maybe, yeah. We're not out of energy. Fruit Ninja has set the high score on the Fruit Ninja, so that'll be a hard one to wow. beat. Wow. And the Synth Rider one is really up there as well. So who are you getting on next week? Do you know? Yet? So I've already pre-recorded next week's already. Oh. So that is um, Mark Green that goes up against myself. Oh, right. Okay, so, we'll see what happens there. Yeah, so uh, we'll be recording you at some point, Nick, as well. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, I think I'll finish near the bottom on that one, definitely. But I'll, we'll get you on there, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. So, and Dean's really keen to have a go as well, and Bill's put right. his name down oh, for it. Oh, Bill. That'd be brilliant to see yeah. Bill doing it. Great. Um, and Kaylee's mentioned she wants to do it as well. Oh, a couple I'll of get Kaylee so. on. Get Kaylee yeah. on. So well, hopefully we'll have some good scores going up there. That was great. I'll tell you what, it's 12 o'clock. That has gone so quickly. Yeah, Ridiculously yeah, quickly. Um, I've really enjoyed it today. I hope you've enjoyed Digitally Active. And you'll be with us next week. We're on next week, aren't we? We are on next week, yes. We're on next week. So I'm looking forward to doing so I think that we've next got, week. Um, six solid weeks now, and then it becomes Christmas time. So six like, solid weeks. So I think okay. we're off for two weeks at Christmas, but we'll put some up on, we'll put like a montage or something up over Christmas. So yeah, so that's right. Keep you on so there. yeah, there'll be two weeks off at Christmas, but that's. And there may be even a Christmas themed one coming up. Who knows? Yep. Brilliant. Well, it's lovely that you've, you've uh, done the exercises. I would recommend having a little break. Um, go and sit down, have a five minutes, and then go and have your lunch. Then you're all fresh and raring to go for the afternoon. So I hope you've really enjoyed it today. I'll see you again. The circus has been brilliant. And we'll see what happens next week. Yep. See, see you later. You see Bye you later. Now.